the goals and uh, the goals and objectives of uh, phase one orthodontics would be to uh, treat crowding situations. A lot of times that will, that's what we're doing. We're developing upper uh, maxillas, the upper arch, because it may be narrow for whatever reason. There's a lot of things that can create maxillary deficiency from thumb sucking habits to mouth breathing habits. Sometimes it's a, the kids that are tongue tied. And to, a, to an orthodontist, tongue tie doesn't mean that a, that a patient talks funny. Most of the kids that uh, are tongue tied, will, it doesn't affect their speech and they adapt. To, a, to an orthodontist, tongue tie means that a patient doesn't have range of motion from the, of their tongue. And because they have limited range of motion, the tongue doesn't express itself against the palate. And that force is necessary to get development of the up, the appropriate development of the upper jaw, and that's important if you don't want crowding in the upper, the arch, and you want to develop better relations between the upper and the lower, better functional relationships, I should say, between the upper and lower. So in phase one treatment, we're trying to develop better functional relations between the upper and lower jaw-to-jaw -jaw and tooth-to-tooth -tooth relations so that as you transition into the permanent dentition, um, uh, you're closer to the goal and the objectives that we're trying to achieve in orthodontics. And uh, this is one of the reasons why we be believe early treatment is important, two-phase orthodontics is important.